Hey everyone, welcome back to our example 2 video for partial fraction decomposition. We have 8x minus 4 over x squared plus 4x minus 12. We will go ahead and factor this. We will have 8x minus 4 over, if you think about it for a second, you will get that the answer is x plus 6 and x minus 2. So we're going to go ahead and set up our factors as denominators, x plus 6 is one of them, and x minus 2 is the next. These are both linear factors, so we only need constants above them. So we'll need an a there and a b there. And if we think about what we would get when we multiply and get common denominator, the original one wouldn't change, so we'll get 8x minus 4 as our numerator after we get common denominator. Multiplying into the a fraction, we would need the x minus 2 factor to get a common denominator, so in the top we would have a times x minus 2. And the b fraction is missing the x plus 6 factor, so we would multiply that in the top and bottom. So our numerator for the last one would be b times x plus 6. That would give us a common denominator on the bottom. We would then ignore the bottom, and we would only solve the tops. So I'm just only going to write the top of what we would get once we got common denominator. And now we have values for x that we can plug in to set each factor equal to 0. This one here next to a, if I plug in 2, then that will give me zero for this factor. That will make some things disappear and help us solve for the other one. So I get eight times two, that's 16 minus four equals a times zero plus b times two plus six, which would be eight there. So here we'll get 12 equal to eight b. When we divide both sides by eight, we'll get 12 over eight and we'll get b equal to 3 halves. This is our example where we're intentionally doing something where we get fractions for a and b just so you can see how to do it. Okay, so that is setting that factor equal to 0. Now let's set the x plus 6 factor equal to 0. So let's choose x equal to negative 6. And if we do that, we'll get plugging in 8 times negative 6 will give us negative 48 minus 4 equals a times negative 6 minus 2 will give us a negative 8 there, plus b times 0. Over here we'll get negative 52, and we'll get negative 8a, and if we divide both sides by negative 8, we'll get 52 over 8, and when we reduce 52 over 8, that will give us that a is equal to 13 over 2. We've got fractions here. I'm going to go ahead and write these here um, just as the fractions. So 13 halves was our a, and that would be over x plus 6. And then 3 halves was our b, so if I write 3 halves here over x minus 2. Now we wouldn't leave it this way. Okay, uh, Writing fractions this way is really bad manners. You don't want to do that at the dinner table. So what you want to do is go ahead and bump anything that's in a denominator down to be in the bottom of the fraction. So to get rid of the fraction in the fraction, we will say 13 over 2 times x plus 6 plus 3 over 2 times x minus 2. You can leave the 2's outside if you want to distribute them so that they are with your factors. You could certainly do that. You could say 13 over 2x plus 12 plus 3 over 2x minus 4, if you prefer. Either one of those are okay, just as long as we don't leave it with the fraction in fraction version, I think we're good. Okay, so that's how to solve one where you get fractions. Check out our example 3 video where we step up the difficulty just a little bit. We'll see you in the next one.